lighter towels for families everywhere. What do you Hi, I'm Sarah Scar, the Director of Religious Education at the Unitarian Universalist Fellowship of Waynesboro. And I'd like to welcome everyone to our annual RE service. I wanted to share this description of discovering faith as a family from the UUA website because I think it applies so perfectly to what we do here at UUFW. UUFW affirms all families of origin and choice. Parents and caregivers find support to embrace their role as children's primary religious educators. To open authentic conversations with children about difficult topics. To grow in faith together through religious practices, truth seeking, justice work, service projects, and more. While UUFW Family Ministry comes in many shapes and sizes, at its core, UUFW Family Faith Development is a journey of relationships. Family members connect with one another, the faith community, and the universe to discover and rediscover a dynamic, sustaining faith. This year has presented our UUFW families and families all over the world with many challenges. And we wanted to use our service this year to put the families at UUFW in a more visible light to the congregation. And we are hoping you can enjoy this service today and enjoy seeing the light of our families shine. UFW families are doing a reading of The Family Book by Todd Parr. Some families are big. And some families are small. Some families are the same color. And some families are different colors. All families like, like to hug each other. And get each other. <laughs> some families live near each other. Some families live far away from each other. Pepper! Some people like their families. Some people look like their pets. All families are sad when they lose someone they love. Some, Some families have step moms or step dads or adopt children. All are loved. Um, some families have step moms, step dad, step sisters, step little sisters, step little brothers, step puppies, step and step lovers and step dogs and step cats and step kittens and dog and puppies. Some families have two dads or two moms. Some families have only one parent instead of two. All families celebrate special days together. Some families eat different foods. Some families eat different foods. <laughs> some families like to be quiet. And some families like to be loud! Some families like to be messy. Some families live by themselves. Some families live with themselves. And some families live in a house with other families. All, All families, families can, can help each other, help each other be strong. Be strong. Can we say it together? All, all families, families can help each other. Can help each other. Be strong. Be strong. There's lots of different ways to be a family. Your family is special no matter what kind it is.
This is the reading It Takes a UU Village to Raise a UU Child by Tess Baumberger. It is important for our children to know that they are cared for, to know that they are part of a larger family, an important part of a bigger human picture. Um, it takes a village to raise a child. It is important for our children to believe in themselves, to trust in themselves, to know they can make a difference. It takes a village to raise a child. It is important for our children to know our Unitarian Universalist principles, to find ways to live them in their daily lives, and to realize that the okay. choices they make are important. It takes a village to raise a child. It is important for our children to be able to speak about our faith, to honor its history and its heritage, and to appreciate its heroes and heroines. It takes a village to raise a child. It is important for our children to explore religious truth and meaning in the Jewish, Christian, and other world religions, and to know that ours is a religion worth having. It takes a village to raise a child. It is important for our children to experience the spirit of life, to feel a sense of awe at the grandeur of the world, and to live lives of empathy and compassion. It takes a village to raise a child. Slowly exhale. Now breathe normally. 
Notice the air coming out of your nose. Focus on the mind, on normal breathing. Feel your feet pressed into the ground. Try to gently push away other thoughts. Allow the body to relax. Try not to be stiff. Breathe slowly for one minute. Now begin to think about acceptance and kindness. Is there someone you need to be kinder to? Begin to repeat that person's name in your head. Continue to focus on that person. Now begin to think about a group of people that need kindness and acceptance. Perhaps it is your family, maybe it is children you know, or parents, or maybe it is a group of people who are homeless. Think about the groups of people who need loving kindness sent to them. Now begin to think about our world. Think about things in this world that could be better if there was more love and kindness. Think about specific places in the world that need more love. It might be rainforests, animals, warring countries, your school, your home. Now let us send love to the world and ourselves with every breath. Repeat the word love in your mind as you exhale. We now invite you to silently reflect on the joys in your life and the sorrows in your life and know that they are held in love. Hi everybody, my name is Mark David Buckles and I'm excited to share one of my favorite hymns with you that you may already know. It's Peace Like a River. And uh, one of the things that I love about this song, this hymn, is that um, it's not all happy. <laughs> it acknowledges the many things that we're feeling and that we can have complicated feelings. We can we can hold pain and joy at the same time, and that that's okay, and even that that can be worth celebrating, that we feel those things. So um, I love that we sing about having peace like a river, and pain like an arrow, and strength like a mountain. And in the end, we return to this idea of peace, that we always have the ability to tune back into that peace like a river, in our souls. Um, and when I think of a river, I think of the fact that no matter what, it just keeps going. I hope you'll sing Peace Like a River with me. If you don't know it, I think you'll pick it up really quickly. It goes like this. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace 
peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got pain like an arrow. I've got pain like an arrow. I've got pain like an arrow. I've got pain like an arrow in my soul. I've got pain like an arrow. I've got pain like an arrow. I've got pain like an arrow in my soul. I've got tears like the raindrops. I've got tears like the raindrops. I've got tears like the raindrops. I've got tears like the raindrops in my soul. I've got tears like the raindrops. I've got tears like the raindrops. I've got tears like the raindrops in my soul. I've got strength like the mountain. I've got strength like a mountain. I've got strength like a mountain. I've got strength like a mountain in my soul. I've got strength like a mountain. I've got strength like a mountain. I've got strength like a mountain in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Thank you, everyone.
holding us. There's a love holding all that we love. <laughs> uh, there's a love. There's a love holding all. We rest in this love. <laughs> I'd like to share a reading with you from the book Parents as Spiritual Guides. Children are naturally spiritual, even if they do not have the language to express it. In an environment of trust, children are often wide-eyed and full of wonder. Remember walks with little children who stop and touch almost anything along the way. The persistent questions of why and how the natural curiosity about where did I come from and how does it work? The wonderings about the tides and the stars, life and death. Like so many things, spirituality is caught as well as taught. The place to look for spiritual substance is an everyday existence. Even the most simple deeds can be full of wonder. Whatever your definition of spirituality, it cannot be esoteric or removed. It needs to be lived in the everyday. Its expression depends on the values that permeate our way of being together. It needs to be lived congruently within our faith tradition, undergirded by our principles and sources. As our spiritual life grows and expands, our circumstances and interests, it challenges and nurtures us. This all happens in day-to-day -day living, in the here and now. Our task is to open ourselves to what is happening and to share it with our children. In Secrets of Strong Families, John Dufresne and Nick Stinnett reported the results of their research on families. They found that the primary expression of family spiritual dimension is in everyday life. These families literally practice what they preach. They believe that the challenges and trials of life are bearable and surmountable because of their spiritual resources. They feel they need the spiritual dimension to give lasting meaning to their lives. It is our hope at UUFW that we will all make a covenant with the children in our lives to be their companions and guides on a magnificent journey in which they know the meaning of transcendence literally the act of climbing over a process of moving over or going beyond real or imagined limits or boundaries we hope you enjoyed seeing the uufw families this morning in a little bit more of a visible light and the children and families at uufw invite you to spend some time today getting outside and engaging in some play this little light of mine, mine. I can <laughs> let it shine. This little light of mine.